here we are at the Aloft Hotel in Winchester, Virginia. And I'm about to be the second person only on YouTube to get a take of this place. Well, that is, as soon as I can find the elevators. Huh. This layout is confusing. First Aloft, and here they are, I think. Watch me be mistaken. Which I definitely am. So, new layout one, the high rise elevator lever, zero. We're getting off to a great start. Now, let's see if I can get even, even more confused. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so I just need to head this way and ignore that turnaround there. This layout is weird. I'm serious. This layout is weird. Well, that's a good lesson in why it's important to learn where you are. Very good lesson, and I'm learning it. Well, let's see if they're here. If our elevators are down this way. Nope, they're back here. If I don't find them in the next minute, I'm going to have to cut this video short. Please be here. No. Close, but no cigar. Alright. Where are my elevators? I swear. This place is gonna be absolutely crazy. Oh. Okay. Interior room. And. Oh, well, look what I finally found. Elevators. All right, Kone, attraction, seven floors. Let's go up. So we get our hands on here. It's a very modern panel. This hotel is pretty new. <laughs> but you think for a modern hotel, they could actually have a braille sign. That's a fail. Yeah. Yes, I got what I'm talking about. All right, let's take this elevator. Ooh, 6R, 6, wow, the service elevator, ooh la la, let's take a look around. That's the rear door, that'll be the staff one, watch it be. 6, alright, let's go to basement, alright, that works. Alright, I got the cab view. Let's try and get an indicator view. The rear door opens. Let's take a look out there. The rear door works. Let me give you a view of that closing. And indicator. Let's go down. Five. It's got music in here, unfortunately. Three, two, one. Basement. Basement. Oh, this floor is deep underground. It's at least two floors underneath. Let's go. Take a look out here. Part of my hotel tour. And get a little look around. Hmm. And I just walked into a service area. Funny, right? It would so be something for somebody like me to walk into what is obviously a service area. I think. Yes, you could tell. <laughs> Two elevators, I think, might fit down here, or all of them might. It's not a locked floor or anything. There's no indication of it being a service area. Oh, there's a light switch. Here's our elevator. Got the same one. I'll do another trip up to 6R, not 6. Or actually, I'll do 6 as well, just to show you what happens when we get up to 6. Hilarious. Oh, we're picking people up. Where to? Oh, 
I've gone to five. Five. Right there. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. No, they're all welcome. I pronounce it both ways. It is confusing. It is, right? Like, a loft isn't up in the air, or a loft, as in, like, how do they want it pronounced? Yeah. We said we're going to ask them now. Pronunciation guide, please. Fifth floor. Fifth floor. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Now let's see what happens with the rear door in this elevator when I go up to six. They're well oiled in here, I need to do that. Now watch the front open first. Yeah, so the front's gonna open first. And it says going down, but it's not gonna go down. The rear door is actually gonna open second. Watch, let's see. It should work. Look what we got here. Nice old service area. Yep. Now out of the service area, which they apparently have one on every floor in this building. Ironically, let's go to one. They have it on every floor, except the first floor, which all other hotels are the opposite. They have one on the first floor and nowhere else. Here we are. First floor, everyone. And it's hotel tour time. See if I can find anything worth finding. Excuse me. <laughs> now, if confusing isn't the one word that you can use to describe this place, someone please enlighten me and tell me what is for the floor layouts. But it's a really nice modernized hotel. Oh man, let me check this out. Let's see, this feels a lot like it's a pool. Or just a door to go outside. Hmm. Which I'm starting to think it is just a door to go outside. And these, of course, this, of course, being a bathroom with a glass door. If that's not odd, tell me what is. Huh. What's this supposed to be here? The other one. Let me see if there's a sign. Whew. Bathrooms with glass doors. This hotel just keeps getting weirder, but I like it. Let's head down the other way where the hallway splits and see if I can find something interesting. This hotel just keeps getting cooler. Yeah. Let's go this way. Yeah. And look what I just found. A window. Get the door is back there right here. No. Oh wait, hold on. This is a door here. And let me read the sign on it. Is there a sign? I'm about to find out. Okay. Whoa. This is called Recharge. And let me show you something. This hotel has RFID locks. So, let's check out my room key and open the door. That's easy. Fitness Center. Welcome to the Recharge Fitness Center at the Aloft Hotel. This is going to be one of my more interesting hotel tours. It's a huge room. Yes, this place is huge. Let's head out and see if I can find the pool. Here we go. Nice. That's the Recharge Fitness Center.
Good to keep in mind. Now, <laughs> when in doubt of where you are, feel the mat on the floor and feel for a barrel sign if you're blind, which I am. And that barrel sign says, splash. This is obviously the pool. Right across from the fitness center. Haven't even gone down the hallway yet. I'm just finding everything today. RFID card. Door opens. Let's go in. Indoor pool, obviously. I can keep from getting. Yeah, the standard pool area. Apparently, it's open a lot. Let's see how far off the pool deck actually is. Oh, I haven't hit the water yet. Well. Whew, it's a huge pool deck. Huge. All right, I'll just let you get a look around in here. Oh my gosh, this place is cool. I really should have brought my swimsuit. I would have taken advantage of the opportunity. <laughs> Let's go back in the hallway and see if they have anything other surprises that are interesting. Ah. <laughs> Already been in the equipment of what they might have. Service line. So, just a window, I'll let you look in at the pool there if you can see in. And then, of course, fire alarm and exit. And we're back to square one. Alright, there's the rear window of the fitness center. And now, I'll show you the front window of the fitness center again. Let's go ahead now past the splash, down the ramp, and I'll show you the lobby. This is a rampway into the lobby area of the hotel. As you can tell, it's, it's a pretty nice place. I don't know where their business center is, but I've gotten about everything else. It's obviously a seating area. In the main lobby. Let's have a look around their main lobby area. Hotel does good for signage. Oh, what did I just find here? <laughs> Let's see. Mechanical rooms. It's always nice. Let's see what's at the top of the ramp. Well, obviously the elevators. And water fountains. I think that's it, really. So, let's call one up and down and see what comes first. There's your Kone fire service key. There's your Kone KSS 220 fixtures. That is not the Whoa. Yeah, I don't think I want this one. Let me send it up to six. This is the one I want. Two elevators. This one, by far the best. Now, let me count the floors for you. Basement, one, two, two R, three, three R, four, four R, five, five R, six, six R. Let's go up. Here's your view of the rear door to the service area. Which I will try to find on my floor. The actual door to it. It's pretty nice. Probably get everything but the rooms because the family's in there. Six floor. little service here. You can hear the machines of the elevators. Let's go to three and three R. Five, four, three, third floor. And this one, 
still opens first. Let's listen and see if I can hear the rear door open. There it goes. Not really. Okay, so I'm gonna go left out of the elevator. I feel, all right, so let's see. Oh, there's only two sets. Two elevators, yeah, that makes sense. There's only two. One there, and then second one there. So there are only two elevators. Sadly. Now, let's see if I can find a way into that little service space. Hmm. It's kind of hidden. 311. I know this hotel has a little loop in the hall. Oh, look what I found. Found the emergency stairway. Huh. Probably not the best thing for me to be going poking around in. Which means I have indeed reached the end of a hallway. And uh, if you out the window, I'll get a better view in a minute. First, I want to go find my nice little service entrance. So I'm past the elevators now, and I'm at the right turn of craziness, part one. Finding service areas, part two. Calling the elevator from said area, which, oh, just so conveniently happens to be. The refresh room. Let's see if my card works. Or if that's just an employee thing. <laughs> Can you say service area? Let's see what's the sign say. R E fresh. It says it's no, it's refresh. That's what they're trying to get get across there. Refresh. <laughs> that doesn't say staff only, but it's kind of obvious what they mean. Anyone who does not have a card that is slated for service staff, unfortunately, may not use this amenity. But, wait, is there a door down here? There's, wait, it's, it's a bench, and it kind of conveniently loops to the back of the elevator. Let's, let's see what this is. This also says, refresh. It's, of course, part of the same area. It's part of the third floor service area. And our keys don't open it. Why? Because it's should be obvious it's a service area. Now, I'm gonna make sure the call buttons are working one of them in case I get stuck in there. <laughs> that would be a horrible thing for me to do is get stuck in a service area. Let's see what that is. 311. So, we come forward circle and now I know that the service area here is kind of crazy. I want to see if the call buttons work, or if you have to have a badge to use those. I just don't want to end up being embarrassed and locked in a service area I can get to from the elevator. That would be quite stupid. Let's see which one I get. I want the left one, obviously, the one that talks. Of course, this sign is the one that's not brailed. The in case of fire, it's probably the same in case of fire use. Usage is. Whatever. Going up, I'm gonna do. Fresh. It's on the rear floor. I'm gonna see if we get summoned back down here. It should. This elevator is the only one that services those. 
So far, I've had a continuous video. Now, six. The rear door is probably not open. Let's see if the summons works. Five. Four. Three. See if this door opens. So it worked. And this is the housekeeping room. I think. Someone called the refresh. And it's the one that has the doors that go out into the hall, if I'm not mistaken. I am in a service area, and I should be able to get out of it. We go up to six and end the video. Perfect! I can get out. <sighs> right. <laughs> Now, I've shown you the third floor refresh room, which is a cute way to say housekeeping service area only, with the exception of using the elevator. Here's six. I think you all deserve a look at the hallway. Or rather, a view out the window, if there's anything worth viewing. I don't have any flashlights or anything. If there's anything worth viewing at all, I think you all deserve to see it. Even though I can't myself. Alright, here's the window. It's got a nice ledge. And there's a view straight out the window. And I'll angle my phone down. Hopefully, you can see down towards the parking lot or towards that area of the Aloft Hotel here. I don't know what you can see because I can't see myself. So. That's just the best I can do for you in the circumstances. Let's see. 22 minutes, 32 seconds. It's pretty good. Non-stop video. Non-stop. I have not cut to record at all. This video will be clean for upload. Here's our sixth floor call button. See a round trip to the basement service area. And back and I will end the tour. Let's go to basement. I have to be careful only to film in this particular elevator. Just because while they both have music, this is the only one that talks. I like talking elevators. I'll do an indicator view this time. I'll have to make sure to go full when going back to six. Enjoy. Lost Hotel, Winchester, Virginia. Let's get back up to six. There's the indicator. have something to ensure the elevator will still be here when I want it. There it goes, and for Aloft Hotel, Winchester, Virginia, that's it. Hello everyone, this is Hyrus Elevator Lover, I'm back at the Aloft Hotel in Winchester. What I thought would be a single clip long hotel tour just decided to get longer, because I know where guest laundry is now. And also, I decided I would give you um, an Aloft Hotel's terminology guide for anyone who considers staying at Aloft Hotels. Let's go to the fifth floor, and I'll tell you what I mean. All right. So, you might get confused if you're seeing the signs in Aloft Hotel, and you're wondering what they are. Oh, recharge, refresh, 
you're like, oh, what do these signs mean? And you might be confused because you don't know if this is a place where you're supposed to go or not. Let me break it down to you. Refuel in the main lobby is, is the place where you can get food. Refresh is housekeeping only rooms on each floor, at least in this hotel. Recharge is the fitness center. Splash is the pool. And clean is the guest laundry room. And this sign says clean. According to the woman downstairs, this is the guest laundry room. Now, how do I find that out? Pull out my key. Let's go inside. All right, let's go into the guest laundry room. Pretty small. It's the first impression I get when I come in here. Now, apparently, the lady was right when she said the rear door did not go down there. And I'll find the refresh on this floor in just a second. They, instead of giving the fresh all of the space that the other door would give, they kind of cut it down and cut a corner off and turned it into the clean, which is the best laundry room. It's pretty confusing. Lights off, lights on, who cares? All right, hotel telephone and public areas that are designed to call the lobby only. And, oh, just a wall. It's literally a hole in the wall. All right, let's go outside and recap. So, refuel is the food, recharge is the fitness center, splash is the pool, clean is guest laundry, and refresh is housekeeping and hotel staff. That is your Iloft Hotels dictionary and terminology guide for anyone who is staying at Iloft Hotels. This has been the High Rise Elevator Lover, and I hope you've enjoyed my hotel tour. And for the Aloft Hotel in Winchester this time. That really is it. See y'all in New York City.